Welcome back everybody, my name is Blau Creation, and today I'm going to show you how to build this lovely rainbow beacon that you can use for your home beacon at your base. We can see what it does by flicking this lever twice. So if you would um, just do it like that, it's going to fire once. And if you do it fast, like a monostable circuit like this, it's going to keep on going. So as we can see, it's a seam, uh, it's a flush transition, so without any white standing out. And you can customize the colors and the um, height of the tower as you like. And now I'm going to show you how to build this. First we are going to build the clock. We have to get to the top of the beacon. So uh, take the beacon at the 3x3 three three pedestal and place blocks, um, three blocks behind it and one to the side. Then place a, a dropper and a hopper facing into that dropper. Then a comparator that's going to run out into two um, repeaters set on um, not any tick. Then go over and place redstone along here and place a, a repeater on four there. And now uh, we have to add that and just add this. And now when we put an item into the dropper, we can see it's going to uh, uh, be a clock if we flick it uh, very fast. Now that the timing is done, we can place the pistons. So go one uh, high and then just place pistons every second. So I like to make it like th uh, high enough to for this and then the other side has to be alternating so uh, each floor should have a piston on it so there 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 like a zigzag after that we are going to create a, a snake like pattern to power the piston so place redstone on top of there place three but uh, pist uh, blocks then a half slab, it has to be a half slab on every floor. Then just place another block and put redstone on top and run it along a little bit more. So uh, like this. Then we have to place a repeater in, set on four ticks. It has to be at least two, but I like to use four for a smooth and not so fast transition. Then we have to uh, place it like this. Then just go over a little bit more and repeat this pattern until uh, until we are finished. And as you can see here we have to use a half slab too. Now I have placed the glass on top of the piston heads and as you can see it should work like this but as you probably see um, it doesn't extend a uh, weight until it's fully extended so go over over here and just tweak it a little bit until it's um, good so we have to make sure that that piston is before this piston so it isn't we just have to add delay and now it's um, at the same time so you have to go here and then place just more repeaters until it's finished Now we can see that it's a flush transition. And if you see any white, you have to uh, tweak the repeater to be uh, on three ticks and not on four. Now we see that it's right at the first time, so tweak it a little bit more. And now you should see a 
a flash transition. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you on Wednesday for the perfect minecart station.